Hi guys, sorry I haven't made a video in a while, but uh, I decided to show you how to use a couple wild edible plants with the veggies in my garden. So we're starting off, we picked a good bowl of lettuce, got all these different lettuce leaf varieties growing in this room. So we got a good bowl of lettuce, now let's go over here and see what kind of lettuce David's got over here. They look like roses. Yeah, they, they do, do. look kind of like roses or something, huh? This is Floral Lynn Schluss Romaine. You guys want to pick some of these bigger outer leaves? What is it called, David? Sure. Foral yeah. Lenschluss, which is Austrian for speckled like a trout. Speckled like a trout. Kind of it's a an interesting of, lettuce. And it's a type of romaine. Type of romaine lettuce, huh? Here, pick this one Good. and this one. These ones are big leaves. Picking a couple to put in the salad bowl. Get this one right here, Kaya. Right here. We could yeah, really try, try it all the way down towards the you bottom. Really you could really try go. this at home. And then you don't have to go to the store to buy lettuce. <laughs> and then let's yep, go. If you got room to grow some at home, you don't got to go to the store and buy lettuce. Let's go ahead and pick some of these smaller beet greens that aren't growing very well. These little guys right here, go ahead and pick all those all those leaves off of this one. All right, this beet greens. Too? You can pull the whole thing out if you want. See if there's any. See if there's a hey, beet. Hey, I'm going to do this job. Yep, yeah, not much of a beet, but we'll eat the greens. We'll tear the leaves off of this. Because we don't want to eat the roots. We'll just throw this back. Well, the roots are good when they develop, but... But not when they're just like pulled out yeah. of the ground and then they What's just the jets off. These bigger ones might uh, might be good just not now. We'll have to wait and let them get them a little bit bigger. Okay. What if there's... So we're good on, on this side then? We can move on to the wild plants. I'll show you what a beet is later. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can move on to the wild plants yeah. now. Okay. Careful not to step on onions and broccoli there. All right. And down here, I showed you last year the lamb's quarter. There's a couple of young ones. There's a young one there. You might want to catch one in the sunlight there. And here's some more of the mature ones that I've kind of let grow. They've gotten tall. Okay, careful. careful. And they're probably a little far along to use too much for a salad, but we can use some of these little guys for it. So, okay, alright guys. Careful. See, see these little lamb's quarters? Yeah. yeah. Let's pick a little bit of that, that wild spinach there and throw them in. Oh, throw them in with the lettuce, yeah. Almost all these are lamb's quarter. Yeah, so pick a few of those in. We'll throw those in with the lettuce. Good calcium and good iron. Mm -mm. Add a little ca more character to our salad, huh? It wouldn't really be a salad if we didn't have oh. so much character. <laughs> I've had some plain salads in my day. This one looks interesting, though. Yeah. Okay, so we added some lamb's quarter to it. I showed you that on an earlier video if you wanted more details on that one. Also earlier showed the mallow plant. What's this? It doesn't have much flavor. But you can also add the young mallow plants in with your with your lettuce. You should be able to pick those leaves off and throw the root away. Yeah. Yeah, throw them in there. Try to remember get those in the sunlight because you keep putting them in the shade. Oh All right, and we got one more wild plant I want to put in there for sure, and it's one I haven't showed you guys yet. Let's see. Okay, be careful stepping over the corn, but there's one over here. Okay, this right here looks a little bit similar to the lamb's quarter, but this is called amaranth, and uh, it's actually an important grain in other parts of the world. It's cult cultivated for its grain. Gets thousands of tiny little black seeds that are high in protein. But uh, right now we're just going to use it for its youngest and tender leaves right here. I'm going to pick some of those young tender leaves and add them in with our salad. Uh, if you guys want to get a couple of the young leaves off of these plants right here, okay. throw them in with our salad. When are we going to pick the radishes? We're going to pick radishes in a second and probably some onions too to throw in there. Yeah, so this is called amaranth, or green amaranth. And they also call it beetroot, because it gets this bright red root that looks kind of like a beet. So I've got some lamb's quarter still we're growing right here. And most of these weeds are just going in the compost anyway, so if you're out picking weeds and Come across those two, any of those weeds, you can toss them in with your salad there. All right, there's one more I want to get hiding over by my garden lettuce over there. You remember what that is off to the right? 
This lone guy right here. Does anybody remember what that is? What was that? Lettuce. Yep, that's wild lettuce right there. Got all my regular lettuce right here, and I had a wild little guy sprout up right here. Or it's also called prickly lettuce, yes. So we're gonna pick a couple of the young tender leaves off our wild lettuce and add it in our lettuce greens. We have to be very careful because they're sharp. Okay, I think we're ready for ready? radishes now. You can probably sit and set this down over at the end here. Okay, there's only a couple radishes that are still small, like that one's still small, so let's not pick ones like that or like this. This one's really big. That one's ready to go for sure. How about this one? Is it big? Uh, yeah, sort of. Can I see? It's medium. Can I pull this one? Oh, <gasps> no, this one. Yeah, get the big ones first. This one? Yep, that one's pretty big. Yeah, let's get those. This one? Sure. If it's big, we're probably going to have to pull it. This one, these two. Yeah. One was big. Put a couple of honkers in here. Found one. One. I think I could Mike, can I pull this Yeah, one? that looks like a good one to pull. Yeah, if they're that big or bigger, let's go ahead and pull them all. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good for the radishes. That's more than we can eat anyways. That's a nice plate we, full of radishes. Like, yeah. Okay, we got one more thing to pick. Onions. Ooh, Ooh, pick onions. a couple onions here. Like a couple? Yeah, I'm just going to pull a couple. How about this one? This, this one? onions are still a little immature, but these are small. Small onions, anyway. Whoa. Here. Just pull it out of the ground. Yeah, you should be able to pull it out now. Yeah. Whoa. Roots. Whoa. <laughs> Just don't crush my other onions and broccoli there. All right. Show the onion off, Ayla. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. are long. The roots are feel really funny. <laughs> Alright. Alright, and then and that's how you mix wild edible greens with your garden lettuce. Thanks guys, see you next time. Hey wait! Get some fruits and veggies next year. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> what are you press now? Press that one. Wash my hands. Because first thing before we start cooking or something. Got to always wash our hands. Yeah, that's a smart thing to do. And the radish greens we're tossing in the compost heap later. And so we have more soil for next year. Yep. That's our compost jar. Is this also going to go on? You too. Uh -huh. Ooh, look at this brown one. It's nice and fat. I think I pulled that one. I'm for language class. School is like language class. I know that. Yeah, we got our onions. Ooh, onions. See, look at, look at, look at. <laughs> Okay, we better rinse our lettuce really good. Yeah. And our wild wild spinach and our amaranth too. Beet greens and mallow. Can we cut off the uh yes, just the barely the roots and then you can chop the onion white part and the green part most of the way up. I know, they make you cry. <laughs> If you need me to do them, I can do them. No, I got yeah. it. I got it. It's okay. <laughs> 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 For little onions, they got some punch there. Oh, oh, like that's strong. Like that. Yep, either in. It started either in, all the way to the other. So we're getting ready to sit down to a nice, healthy salad. Well, Dave even cut up some strawberries to add in with it, huh? Yep. Look at this big strawberry. Mm. Wait, what is it? Half on this, my hand. Let's go. So that was your first taste of the garden salad. It's good. It's good? Just kind of good? 
<laughs> Did you get a bigger piece of lettuce? Yeah. Yeah, some of the oral inch loose when it gets bigger sometimes it gets a little bit bigger. Uh, but it was bitter. Yeah, but it was good. But it's good? Yeah. What do you think, Kai? Does it taste good? <laughs> Would you like some ranch on that? Okay, you might try some salad dressing, like the ranch kind. <laughs>